And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. A big week ahead. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. And here's a look at your weather headlines as we get into this holiday week. Ups and downs as far as temperatures go. We're going to see a warm up for tomorrow, but then temperatures crash back down Tuesday into Wednesday. But the good news is overall good travel weather expected before Thanksgiving. We are though tracking some weekend rain and snow chances Friday night into Saturday. We'll keep you posted on that today. It was chilly for sure. Highs topping out right around freezing across northeast Wisconsin. And right now we're sitting at 30 degrees, so we haven't really dropped all that much from our high temperature of 32 degrees in Green Bay. That's thanks to winds out of the south southwest at 7 miles per hour. We've also had some passing clouds as well, keeping those temperatures from dropping. So we have readings right now, upper 20s, right around 30 degrees. It's 30 in Mantua, 29 in Oshkosh, 27 in Appleton, as well as Clintonville, and 28 degrees in Shano. So temperatures not going to really drop much more from where you're seeing readings right now. Thanks to that breeze out of the southwest, winds will remain about 5 to 10 miles per hour through the overnight hours. Wind chills, though, will be generally in the 20s, so it will still be pretty chilly as you head out the door tomorrow. We do have a warm front that is moving on into the state. Behind that, notice the warmer air, 30s and even 40s at this hour, and that warmer air is heading our way for tomorrow. So here's a look at your 24-hour planner. Temperatures rise quickly through the morning with mostly sunny skies. There will be some increased clouds though as we get later on into the, into the day for your Monday and on into tomorrow night. As a cold front approaches, winds very breezy out ahead of that. Temperatures notice not really dropping all that much tomorrow evening, but they will really start to drop off after we get past midnight and especially as we head through the day on Tuesday. Temperatures will fall throughout the day through the 30s, so it's going to be chilly. So this warm up, enjoy it tomorrow because it's going to be very brief. For tomorrow, mostly sunny through the morning into early afternoon, but then clouds will thicken up later on in the day as we head on into tomorrow night as well as that cold front passes on by. Could see a few flurries at times with a mix of sun and clouds on Tuesday, but for the most part will be dry. It'll be very windy as well as that colder air rushes on in. So ups and downs, milder for tomorrow, then colder for Tuesday on into Wednesday, but there will be another warm up by the end of the week. Unfortunately, the colder part of this week's forecast will include when we have the Appleton Christmas Parade, 7 p.m. on Tuesday, 27 degrees, but wind chills will be in the teens. As far as travel goes, a big week for that, we are going to see pretty quiet conditions on Wednesday. Maybe a little bit of a wintry mix for Minnesota and the Dakotas, but that would be about it. If you're traveling across the state in Wisconsin, it looks pretty good. Flying, no problems at Green Bay and, and through our other local airports, but definitely the Northwest and New England, that could cause you some delays out there where we do have some storm systems that we are going to be keeping an eye on. The rest of the country looks pretty quiet. Your forecast tonight down to 29, mostly clear. Then for tomorrow, up into the mid to upper 40s. It's going to be a warm one compared to what we saw out there today. But those temperatures head right back down right now. Thanksgiving looking dry. If you're going to be traveling on Thanksgiving itself, highs right around 40 seasonable. I mean, it's perfect time if you got to go out of state or out of the area. Great time to travel. Be with your family on time. So right. Should be shouldn't have too much of an issue. Out no there. delays. Yeah. Out there. yeah. Thank you so much, Matt.